was that the country is facing an extraordinary economic crisis. We know that the only path out is if we follow Barack Obama to the White House. So I know that in the state of Wisconsin it will happen if the path is cleared right here in Waukesha County. That's right. That's right. And this woman said, oh, Barbara Lawton. And I said, oh my god, I found the Democrat. I'm leaving. Yeah. <laughs> no longer. This is where it's going to happen. And I have the great, great pleasure of introducing to you a woman who has seen from the beginning the, um, the extraordinary gift of Barack Obama's uh, candidacy. Yeah, a woman who knows that we need, those of us who lead in this state, need a partner in the White House. And she has led with by example in taking that state and putting it on the map with incredible fiscal responsibility, a vision for economic growth that pulls everyone into the main street, main street an understanding of how to pull people together around that vision. So this is a woman who can tell you why we're going to work every day between now and November 4th. So we wake up with our fists in the air and the kind of excitement about understanding that we can realize our ambition for this state and this nation, just as Governor Kathleen Sibeli has done for us. Wisconsin ends up in the Obama column once again. Absolutely. The road to the White House comes right through Wisconsin. And you all are at the beginning of that path that over the next 49 days, the goal is going to be to reach out to a lot of people who are not paying as much attention as those of you are in this room. And frankly, what we know about women, what Barbara and I know, is that uh, women are the majority of eligible voters in this country can make the difference in any election we choose to make the difference, but too often women undervote our numbers. And so part of the effort that is going on in Wisconsin and in Kansas and in Iowa and Illinois and uh, Ohio, states across this country, is to make sure that we reach out to our friends and neighbors, to our children and grandchildren, to our nieces and others who need to be focused on the fact that the most important choice of their lifetime is waiting at the ballot box this election. Um, I think that you know the turmoil that we've seen on Wall Street uh, may have come as news to John McCain that there is economic trouble, but frankly it doesn't come as news to your Governor Jim Doyle and your Lieutenant Governor Barbara Lawton. It doesn't come as news to me because I've been talking to families in our state and in states across the country who are worried about their future, who are worried about their jobs, who are worried about putting gas in their car and groceries on their table, worried about whether or not they can afford college for their kids, knowing their kids need a college education to compete in this global economy, are worried about their nest eggs and their pensions, and now they're home. The most important and valuable asset most families have, that is in jeopardy. If you still have a home, the value is a lot less than it was. And if you don't have a home, the notion that you will ever be able to afford a home is slipping out of reach. So we have a very dramatic choice. As, as Barack likes to say, we are the change we've been waiting for. This is our time. This was never going to be an ordinary election, but it's become more extraordinary with the 
incredible financial trouble this country is in. And we have two very different pathways. One candidate who says the foundations of this economy are strong, are solid. As recently as Monday, he repeated that. Another candidate who has said for not just two days or two weeks, but really for two years, we need a change in direction. We need a tax policy that offers some hope and help to working families in America. We need a policy that rewards work again in this country, that rewards companies who are keeping jobs in America, that stands up finally and says every man, woman, and child in America has a right to quality health care, not just if you're elected to office or if you can afford the highest price plan, but it's a right that we have as Americans and we need to step up. We need a new energy future to make us financially secure, nationally secure, but also to grow green jobs across this country. Those are the kinds of investments that Jim Doyle and Barbara are making here in Wisconsin that we're making in Kansas and that frankly, we do need a partner in the White House. For the six years that I've been governor in Kansas and that this team has been in place in Wisconsin, we've had an adversary in Washington moving the country in one direction as we try to move it forward. Now, I'm here as the heartland hope. I, I'm elected in a state where 27% of our voters are Democrats. Okay? So I know a little something about Washington. What I know is that if you get the message out, if people understand the vision of the candidates, if they understand what's at stake in the future, that they will cross party lines, that Americans want once again to come together as a country and meet the challenges that we have and again put our country back in solid financial shape and also restore our place in the world. Mm -hmm. A lot of Americans are worried that we have more enemies and fewer friends than we did eight years ago. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the questions that may work very well here because my guess is you have a lot of folks who uh, still remember and revere Ronald Reagan. Remind them of the question Ronald Reagan asked when he ran for president. Are you better off today than you were eight years ago? Is your family better off? Is your state better off? Is our country better off? And if not, what we don't need is a president who continues in this same disastrous direction. The problem with Wall Street is not bad luck. It's bad policy. Mm -hmm. And it's been in place and accelerated under this administration. So the time for change is now. 49 days from today is election day. You have early voting in Wisconsin. You can start voting in a couple of weeks. Uh, you can register and vote the same day. There is every opportunity to reach out to folks who are not engaged and involved and say this is a vote you need to take for your children and grandchildren. It's a vote you need to take for the future. It's a vote to take our country and the American dream back once again. So I'm delighted to be here. I started the day in La Crosse and I went on to Wausau and then to Sun Prairie and now here in Waukesha. So I've had a little trip around Wisconsin. The last time I tried to come to Wisconsin was during the primary when there was a snowstorm so bad that I was grounded. I was headed to Superior. It was about 25 below zero and uh, we couldn't get in. So I'm delighted to see the beautiful fall weather. Uh, but I got to tell you, I think there's, I'm making a promise by the campaign team for um, Women's Wednesdays. If you do your job, when you do your job, and Wisconsin comes in on November 4th, uh, in the Barack Obama column when we work together to elect a new president, there will be a great celebration here in this headquarters for <laughs> Women's Wednesdays so on the 5th of November. That we can Barbara's going to get out of your way. Thank you for what you're doing. It's the most important work we could be doing over the next weeks. It's the most important outreach that can happen. So get fired up, get ready to go, and let's go elect a great new president. Let's elect Barack Obama.